Today, the International Cat Show is getting underway at the Portland Expo Center. There's some pretty cute cats out there. It's all happening uh, this weekend. That's where Cor Harlan is right now. He's been showing us some of the different creatures they have out there. Good morning, Cor. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Ken. There are cat fanciers, uh, lots of cat fanciers out here today. And, and one of the things, the cool things that comes along with cat shows are all the things that people bring to dress their cats up, to carry their cats around. This is Latasha from Salem, right? Just wave to everybody, so, to Latasha. Now, this gal, you would not know it, but this gal, Latasha, takes this cat everywhere she goes as a result of this little backpack. What do you call this backpack thing? It's a... It's a I just call it her carrier. I'm not, I got it. It's like a spaceship. Yeah. Come on up. Space capsule. What's the cat's name? Lolo. Lolo. Come here. Look at Lolo in there. So Lolo uh, goes all over the place with Latasha uh, in this backpack. Nobody ever really knows she's in there, but she's got a, a great little viewpoint, a little vantage point in the world. There's some holes here for air. It zips open just like a backpack. That is the coolest thing I have ever seen. And uh, the cat just seems to love it in there. Also, uh, moving on here a little bit, there is also at the cat show this weekend. You wanna you wanna leather your cat up a little bit? You've got uh, the capacity to do that. There's a, a lady that just showed up here who makes these uh, little outfits for cat, a little leopard print right there for a little trim on that one. I don't think the, I mean, the cats this morning are a little bit uppity and they're not into being dressed up this early. And this is our good friend here who is the cat judger. Yeah. How you doing this morning? I'm fantastic. This is your cat? This is your 12th generation of cats that you've had, right? This is. Actually, I made this cat at home. He, I got the, his great-grandfather times 12 when I was in high school. All right. Let's talk a little bit about cats versus dogs. We had the dog show out here last year. Okay, now my dog is kind of a, a needy, a needy, needy, needy. He needs everything all the time, and my cat could care less if we're around. You have a, a great theory about this. Tell me, just explain that to me. Well, you know, I did uh, some work with the Chamber of Commerce, and we kind of decided that you know, when you think about it, cats are emotional entrepreneurs, and dogs are kind of on emotional welfare. And in this gig economy, you know, the cats are where it's at. Entrepreneurial cat, meaning they they move on, they look for things to entertain themselves, they occupy themselves. That's right. right. If you don't have it, they will go look for it. As opposed to my dog, who when I get up at 4 o'clock in this morning, he, he gets up and he looks at me like, okay, well, what are we doing now? What are we doing now? All the time, right? All the time. In fact, if you go look, if you're here today at the cat show, today, tomorrow, and Sunday, first 250 people get a free box of litter. That's because the cats are entrepreneurs. Cats are entrepreneurs. So you get some free cat litter if you show up here this morning. So there'll be over two, well over 200 cats here this morning. And this Bengal cat, by the way, that you have is just a beautiful animal. What do you what do you judge these on? You, you have different... Uh, different breed standards and you judge them to the to the breed standard kind of right that's right so each breed is has a standard of perfection based on a hundred points and a detailed description of every aspect of the cat and so this bengal cat is supposed to look like a little leopard but be a sweet friendly domestic cat and this is actually the best one in the world right now yes he he's nice how much disposition uh how much does the score uh, based on uh, play off a disposition because all these cats got to have a decent disposition to be here right they do so every cat temperament matters a lot and so the judge isn't supposed to pick a cat based on how sweet it is but the sweeter the cat the better it shows off how beautiful it is yeah and there are people here from all over the country, all over the world, really, right? We saw the Siberian cat here a short time ago. That's right? right. We have three continents of cats represented: Europe, North America, and South America. Actually, four if we include uh, Asia. We've got a couple cats here from Japan and uh, China. And that lady dressed up like the Bengal tiger is going to be here today as well. Is that right? Uh, yeah, there'll be a couple of ladies dressed up like cats here today. So you'll have your choice uh, whether you want to see someone dressed up like a tiger or a leopard. I can't wait to see that after a happy hour here Friday night from the Portland Expo Center this morning. The catch just starts officially out here in Hall E at the Expo Center at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Goes from 9 to 6 both Saturday and Sunday. Judging goes on. It's a great place to people watch and to cat watch as well, correct? It doesn't get any better. It doesn't get any better, Corey. Not get any better than this. Jenny and Ken? Yeah, it's a cat lady watch. Yeah, a literal cat ladies. Yeah. Kelly, Kelly has a cat. She could get out there and cats. dress I've, up. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a cat, and I think its breed is miniature panther. So, oh, is that what you think? Very silky miniature. black cat. Oh. Right. Yeah. So right. cute. Yeah. And they say uh, black cats are unlucky, but that hasn't been the case with you. No. Right? Yeah. We just have so much fun together, and that ain't the I case. I got pretty lucky. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thanks, Good looking Gore. stuff. Thanks, Gore.